Okay, here we are. So, let's say you want to download a mod for Armored Core 6. But you find out that the mod is outdated. Crap. Suddenly the parameters aren't working when you uh, override it or merge it with another mod. Here's what you got to do. I'm going to make a little timestamp. If you already know what DS Map Studio is and how to use it, go ahead and skip to this timestamp. That being said, for those of you who are not aware or are not familiar with DS Map Studio, tune in here. First things first, you have the mod. You have the regulation.bin. Next thing you're going to do is go over here and just look up DS Map Studio. You go here. At the right hand side, you'll see releases. Go ahead and click on that. DS Map Studio 1.11.1. .1. Might be a different uh, version. Go ahead with the latest release. You'll go down to Assets, DS Map Studio. Hotfix3.zip. Go ahead and download it. You'll open up the extra, uh, the zip file, and basically you're going to copy and paste all of this into a folder. You can put it on your desktop. You can put it in downloads. You can put it anywhere. Mine specifically is on my desktop. What you're going to do once you extract it to a folder, you're going to go open it up, look for dsmapstudio.exe, open it up here. You might get a warning, just ignore it. What you're going to want to do is now go up to the top left, go to File, New Project, Project Name, it can be whatever you want. I'm going to name it Camera Tweaks Param. The product project directory will be the file or the uh, sorry the folder where the mod is located. So for me, it's AC6 Camera Tweaks. Select folder. Next thing up, you're going to go to Game Executable. You're going to select this Game Executable. You're going to go to where Armored Core is located. For me, it's on the D drive. Go over here, common, Armored Core 6, and then regulation.bin here. Go ahead and open. After that, it might come up as undefined. You're just going to move to the Advanced tab, and you're going to manually define it as Armored Core 6. After that, you go ahead and create. And then, as long as nothing goes wrong here, you'll go to Param Editor at the top left, and you'll go to Upgrade Params. Upgrading requires you to select a vanilla regulation.bin with the same version as your mod, 1.03.0.0151. Would you like to proceed? Leave it off that for now. You can go ahead and click Cancel, now we're going to grab that vanilla regulation.bin. Current regulation.bin for vanilla is 1.06 as of this video. And that's not going to work. It's going to come up invalid. So what you have to do now is something a little bit more complicated. First things first, you're going to go to run. You're going to type in steam colon, two forward slashes, open, one forward slash, console. You're going to go ahead and click open. It's going to open up the Steam application. You're going to get a new tab called console. What you're going to do is type in download underscore depot. Next up, you're going to get three sets of numbers. The first set is going to be the game app ID. 
For Armored Core 6, it's going to be 1888160. So just go over there, copy. I get all my information here from steamdb.info. Link is going to be in the description, and I'll also pin it in a comment. After that, you will go ahead and just copy and paste that here. Space. Now you need to get the depot. There's going to be a lot of different depots. All you need is the one with the dot regulation or regulation dot bin here. You can see here this one is going to be VC 2019. This one's going to be direct X. The 163 and 164, I'm not entirely sure what they're what they are. I assume they're just clones of the DLC Tenderfoot, the pre-order bonus. Uh, this one at the very bottom is going to be the digital art book. You can ignore those, all those. All you need to care about is 161, and technically you don't even care about 162. 162 is just the executable. You don't have to care about it in this case. So it leaves out 161. It's going to be the largest file by far. You're just going to copy this ID, 1888-161. You're going to copy that into the console. And last but not least, it's, this is probably the most complicated one. I'll add the link here, but it's in the patch notes. And basically, from what DS Map Studio said, param version 1.03.0.0151 out of date. Because that's between 1.0. 1.03.1 is too large, or is not the right one. You also know 1.02 is not the right one. So it's going to be this no title. Basically, you're going to click on it. It's going to give you a lot of different things to look at. But you can see here it says regulation.bin and the manifest ID. It's been changed from this number to this green number. Basically, you're just going to copy that green number. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and link this in the description and the comments so you don't have to worry about doing the research yourself here. But for future reference, this will be how you handle it. You'll go ahead and copy that manifest ID. You're going to go into Steam, and you're going to paste it. After that, You've got your three numbers, three number sets you needed. Go ahead and enter. If all goes correctly, it's going to say downloading, and it'll give you the size. It won't give you information on the progress. You'll just have to wait until it's done. You can go to your task manager and look at Steam Client Web Helper, scroll over, and look at network. Right now it's not doing anything. Let's see here. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, there we go. Now it's starting up that download here. Steam 32-bit. Not the web helper, as I said before. You can see it's actually working and starting to download stuff. So you can just close out of it. It's going to finish. You might get an error code. I'm sorry, but I cannot be of help with that. There have been multiple situations online where they've had issues downloading a depot. Uh, unfortunately, if this is an issue for you, I cannot help you. You can go up online, look up the error code, and hopefully you'll find a solution there. This is assuming that the downloading of the depot goes accordingly and you'll be good. So, after that, you will have to go to your local disk, C drive, program files, 86, x86, Steam, Steam apps, and instead of going to common like you would go to the game directory, you'll go to content. You'll see the app ID, 
you'll see the depot ID. You'll see game, and in a little bit, I'll cut to when that happens, when it actually downloads here. And when it actually downloads, we'll be able to go ahead and continue forward. So just give me literally less than a second. All right, so you've already gone ahead. It has completed downloading here. So what you're going to do now is go ahead. You can close it out if you want. You can now go to your main Steam profile, or sorry, your main Steam directory. For me, it's local disk C, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps. Normally, you'd go to common. This time, you're going to go to content. You're going to see the app ID, depot, you're going to see game file, and it's going to be basically what, uh, what Armored Core was like for 1.0.3, or 1.03. So, you got the regulation.bin. That's really the only important part in the situation. Go ahead and just save that information. You can copy the uh, link to the file itself, or folder. You can close out of the folder if you want. We're going to get back into D, uh, DS Map Studio here. Now we get to the good part, easy part. Upgrade parameters. And it says upgrading requires you to select the vanilla regulation. Bin of the same version as your mod, and it gives you the mod version. Go ahead and proceed. And now you're just going to go ahead and instead of copying, I'm going to do it manually here. Go back to where the content folder is. So, programs 86 for me, Steam, Steam apps. Instead of common, go down to content, app, depot, game, and then you're going to see that regulation up in. Go ahead and open it. Map Studio can automatically perform several edits to keep your parameters consistent with updates to vanilla. Would you like to perform these edits? Go ahead and say yes. Upgrade successful. And there you have it. You're all good now. Now you have all the parameters that are now up to date with your current uh, Armored Core 6 version. So now just comes the normal process of downloading the CSVs of each different uh, parameter, or you can just go ahead and save params. And now your mod and the regulation.bin is now updated to 1.06 or to your uh, specific version, whatever version that may be. And yeah, that's it.